Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder. We're back with another episode of my Let's Play series where we are trying to f figure out space exploration. So, what we have missed has been me starting up um, my oil factory here. Um, and we have gone down and put down one of these buildings. This is the thing I was talking about before where it essentially allows me to put a factory with inside this building and instead of it being up all taking up all the space it occupies up this little space here and inside we have our um, oil coming in our water coming in we are creating petroleum gas and that petroleum gas is being converted into sulfur and it is also being converted into plastic now this is the downfall with this is that it requires um, coal, and I don't have a way of getting coal in here right now. At least nothing close by. Nothing that, oh, there's coal right here. 53,000. Not very much, but that's exactly what we're going to tap into because we don't really have much of a choice. So we need to bring coal in there so that we can keep that process going. So let's get some coal going. Uh, we need some miners two for now deconstructors we want to put on my deconstructors get rid of all these trees for now okay so yeah there's not a lot of coal here but probably enough to last us a little while like that and we'll have it come off the line like this I have no idea how it's going to work here just need to tap it into the power up here just like that <clears throat> okay so now that should be producing up our coal yep so let us bring over the coal whatever whatever now I'm not sure which direction we need to go oops I keep walking in. I don't mean to do that. Um, just like that. Is that enough? Does that do it? Nope. So we need to figure out. one of these how does it work I've, I've never this is why I'm trying to like figure this out okay yeah yeah so there is coal coming in right there now okay and then and we'll go ahead and drop coal in and we'll bring coal into it and now we are making plastic with no problem we have a buffer. Just like this. Let's get these two out of here. Just like that. Okay. So now we have coal, plastic, I mean, plastic and sulfur being produced from our petroleum gas, which means that is good to go. And now. That means that this stuff can now be taken out of here and we can bring these where we want them to go. So I don't know that we need them in here for any other current processes. There's a fuel refinery, so that's what we already have. I don't know that we need another one of those. Um, oil refinery. This will convert... Sorry, we already have that. Fuel refinery converts petroleum gas into solid fuel okay 
yeah we're not at that point where we're creating excess and I don't think I have a way of separating out yeah I don't think we have learned the next stage yet of being able to filter out the other oils um, yeah no not yet so we're not ready for that yet so here we are with this factory being done here um, this will be our right now it's our sulfur and our uh, plastic factory which we need plastic so we'll need to bring plastic all the way back up here because we are making we've already made a green science we're going to need it for our, our green science green electrical circuits we're going to need to make red electrical circuits because we can't even get the red electrical circuits yet uh, unless we um, have the plastic and then we need to take that with the sulfur so we really need to take both of these out of here I think that's the main thing we could t take the plastic we can't turn it into the red sign the red chips yet because we need to bring copper here and electrical circuit so it needs to be brought up both things need to be brought out of this factory all the way up there so we are not prepared to do that right now necessarily but we are going to try with at least doing it this way do we combine them together I think if we combine them together then we don't need as much but the real question is, is will we need them both so I'm not even entirely sure yet it'll save us trouble there we are and there we are so we need to go get more of those so we're gonna go you guys don't need to see me do this. I'm going to bring this all the way back around, and then when it comes back around, we will bring it up to our green science, and we'll meet you back at the green, I keep calling it green science, green circuits, and we'll take care of it from there together. Um, there's really no reason for you guys to see me do the pathing of all of that up to here. So, I will take care of that myself, and I'll see you guys in a few moments. Okay, so we're back. We have connected everything up, and our um, coal, uh, coal, I'll keep going, called sulfur and plastic shall be arriving soon on this belt here. It's going to travel across up into this area, and this is where the green circuits are going to be used to make red circuits along with copper cables, electronic circuits, and plastic bars, and then the sulfur is going to be used along the line too as well later on with the... Um, advanced circuits when they're done and the multi-layer multiple multi-single cylinder engines which they are right here so we'll be doing something with them at some point um, pulling them out we just don't know what yet um, and so from here we need to pull off of this line which I'm just gonna turn this line up a little bit like that because um, what we're gonna do okay to recipe I don't know what this one does that this one doesn't do oh art of toggle port markers well I learned something um, all right so what we need right now is we need a couple of these because what we're gonna do then now from here is we're gonna pull the um, green circuits from here and the plastic bars from here um, so we're going to get these things kind of like parallel with each other because we need the plastic and the green circuits. Um, so let's pull this down. Just like this. And then these two can be just like that, side by side. And then from here, they are going to pull off of the green circuit line and the red circuits here to make red circuits. They'll pull the plastic off of that line and the green circuits to do that. And then we need to bring copper coils, which this doesn't seem to be making copper coils fast enough to feed these. Well, I suppose it is. 
We'll see how that functions. If this isn't good enough, then we'll expand this to do more copper coils. Um, so we need to bring more copper coils over. And this looks like it'll be plenty. I don't know. We'll see. We'll split it here. Yeah. We'll split it. Let's bring it up and over. Just like this. This is not going to work as well as I thought. Because I have a full line of that and a full line of that. And we have sulfur going up this way. So yeah, it's not going to work as well as I had hoped. A little too tight. So we're going to move some things over a little bit. Just like that for now. Bring this up to here. And so does that mean we can then bring the copper cables up and over just like that so now we can take from here we need a couple more just like that and then take the plastic from this line just like that and you're gonna make red circuits. Yep. And that means then we can then take off of this line and place on a new conveyor belt red circuits. Which means we could bring this up and kind of expand this as needed to make more red circuits. Just like this. Red circuits. I need a couple more. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. And just like that. So we now are making red circuits perfectly. Yep, we are making red circuits. Now the green, the, the yellow guys, the yellow sulfur is going to be used in the engine compartment situation here. So we need to start pulling off of that just like this. And then we're going to need the red circuits, the engines, and the sulfur. I don't want to build here because that's going to take away from... So what we need to do is we need to kind of like bring... A filter inserter would be perfect, but... What I, I need to do... Is, can you do this this way? Where you... Output to the right and filter it? Yeah, we can. So output to the right, only the sulfur. like that let's see what this does hmm 
So now I'm wondering if I wanted to, can I do it like... This? But only put sulfur to the right side? I suppose so. Seems to be what it's doing. Yeah. But it's all putting it all the way to the right. And then it's putting engines all the way down. I don't want it to be doing it. I just want it to be one way and not the other way. Well, damn, we tried. So, that means that if I go this way, it's going to split them. Well, I guess I could do it like that. No, it's not going to work. I, I need to get the filter inserters to pull the so it seems like I need to get the filter inserters to pull off the sulfur here which I don't have yet but no I do okay so we can do a couple of those just to keep up filter inserters to pull off only the Okay, this is just not going to work the way I was hoping. Just like this, I guess. And then we want you to pull off only silver. Only sulfur. Only sulfur. Yeah. And then from there, now we have it evenly split. Not the way I would have wanted to do this, but it does allow for this to at least bring it up and provide it. It is really a bad idea, but it is something that we have going for us at the very least. And then from there, we can bring over our red circuits. <sighs> which we'll want to bring this up as much as possible. Let's just bring it up so for expansion's sake. Just like that, just like that, just like that. And then from here, For now, just like that, and then this will have to be brought up because this is not <laughs> this is not a permanent fix. To run parallel, I just want this to be expandable. And same thing with this. Um, and then from here we have what we need to start pulling off. Jeez, I don't like it to be on this side. Uh, I guess we'll bring it down. Just like that. And then from here... We'll have our two things here, because that's what we'll use to make blue science for right now. And that's what we'll use. Just like that. 
pull out here and then two long inserters one there one there this is the most bootleg thing I've seen in a long time for blue science but it should do the trick Maybe a few more just like that And so now you're making blue science. Just like that. And so now we have a blue science machine that we can then bring the blue science out of here, up and over, and back to the rest of our science section over here well if that wasn't the most long convoluted way i have seen in a long time for building that stuff now the blue science situation i'm gonna have to run a second belt around the outside it seems that's for sure because it doesn't seem that there's going to be a option here yeah there's not going to be much of an option here for me to do this any other way other than to do a blue science belt around the outside. Two trailer park girls go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Well, I guess that's good enough. It doesn't need to cycle back in on itself. Um, I could do it like this if I really wanted to. Just to give that the ability to weave in. Let's just drop the stuff off. That way. Nah, yeah, we can get rid of that. Just do this. Just so that it can go all the way around the outside. <laughs> it's really convoluted but it can go all the way around. What side is the blue going to be on? It's going to be on the outside. Alright, so that works, because that'll just continue to put it... Oh, I don't have this producing the science. Alright, yeah, so it's going to put it on both sides. Alright, so if it's going to put it on both sides... Let's have it then put it up around this side like that. So that way it's always dumping on the outside. Because then it's always dumping on the outside ring and it'll come down in a pairs of two, but it'll always dump on the outside ring. And then later on, I can come maybe to the inside here and dump it. Yeah, something like that. We could even do it now just to give ourselves. But yeah, that way there's even more space for us to come around to the other side and dump on the blue side and do like the next signs on the inside. Now, this is really unconvoluted. I've seen things where these all self-feed each other. Um, we might rehash this whole science section at some point. But, yeah. Now we're making blue science. We are at least producing enough red chips and sulfur and things of that nature that everything is functioning. Um, I just realized that that sulfur is just going to keep going up that way. Um... Unless if I could stop it. But it is what it is. If I waste a little bit of sulfur going that way, it's not that much. And we could always keep up with more red circuits this way and blue science this way. So let's go ahead and get our next science going. 
Um, and we are not using blue science yet, unless if we want to do mining productivity and stuff of that nature, but at least now we have blue science going. Um, and now let's do advanced oil processing, actually. Why not? Because then we can start doing the other types of oil. All right, so that is that. We are now fully functioning in that process. We have blue science going around. Now, the only thing we didn't do on the blue science section is we didn't give any way to grab the blue science. It's just going around in circles. But nothing's going to grab it, so we're going to need long inserters um, for that. Because they're going to have to reach beyond. Just like that. A couple more. One more. Great. So now our science is going to actually form pretty well. Blue science is now attached. We are not producing tons of it. We might install a few more. Um, yeah, we might as well. We're not using it all, so let's do a couple more. Just a couple more. Yeah. Any more iron plates. Green science is being produced. But we need more copper plates, that's for sure. Okay. <clears throat> so that's what we got to work on here is we need, need to increase our output of copper plates because we're not producing enough green um, circuits. Well, we're not keeping up with the copper. That's the main thing. So it's not a huge, huge deal, but... Let's get some more blue science going and then we'll work on the copper. that blue science I know there's a way to copy these things over but um, all right so let's do it like this and then drop this here and this one here Okay, now we're increasing our science output by double. And now we need to increase this by a little bit more. Because this just ain't enough. So let's go ahead and run it this way. Let you finish using that. And we'll do another one right here. Maybe we'll do just like that. Let him finish using the rest of that up. And then you're going to make up some copper coils. And then we're going to use another one of those. You're done. And I don't know how fast this needs to be. I'm assuming that should be enough. Now we're doubling our copper coil output. We'll see if that keeps up. If that doesn't keep up, then we'll step it up another one. Alright, for that, for now, we, we are going to end the episode here because we are moving things forward. Producing green science. It seems that we are at least getting a little bit further beyond. Yeah, we're, we definitely need to step this up. We're going to stop the episode here, and we'll come back with the next episode when we decide what we're going to do after a few more um, advanced oil processing and a few other uh, sciences get produced. And you'll probably see off camera this is what I'll expand until this keeps up with that. And then we'll go from there. All right, everyone, thanks again. It's Jack Thunder signing out. Take it easy.